You just see the dance moves or maybe today you just walked or ran somewhere. Perhaps you bent over to tie your shoes in the morning or use your fingers to make a phone call or send a text message. Or maybe you even use your fingers to actually switch on the tablet in through which you're seeing me. So now you know quite a bit about bones, but that's not all that your body is made up of. Can you picture just a skeleton doing the dance? Whoa, that was nice, wasn't it? The bone is a hard structure, almost inflexible. Muscles attached to these bones can make them move. Now, I want you all to flex your bicep. You feel the tough part on your arm? That is what we call a muscle. So, what are muscles? Muscles are thin, long threads of fibrous tissue that are bundled up together so that you feel like your entire bicep is just one big muscle. But actually, it is made up of millions of tiny threads of individual muscle fibers. Now, the muscle can do just one thing, that is to pull. How are we able to achieve such complex movements with the help of muscles which are capable of doing just one thing? Our muscular system has developed this amazing system of helping each other out. When you bend your arm, your biceps are actually pulling your arm and folding it. But now, if you want to straighten it out again, there's not much that your biceps can do. So, your bicep makes a call to the next door neighbor, that is the tricep. I want you to straighten out your arm and try to pop your elbows as far as you can. Now, you feel the back side of your arm. Do you feel a lump there? That is your tricep, which is pulling your arm back from its folded position and straightening it since the biceps can't push from its original position. It can only pull. Just the same way, every muscle in your body cooperates with another muscle, achieving the pushing and the pulling motion.